Hello, everybody. Hello. We're back in the van, off again for another long weekend because it's bank holiday. They like bank holidays. Well, you do, don't you? Extra day off. Normal week for me. It's unbelievable, isn't it? So, yeah, we're off to a caravan and camping rally in uh, Daventry, I think it is. Just put it in the sat nav and it's saying, well, we've got to go to Tesco's and it's quarter past 12. Because somebody has to work this morning, so we were later setting off. She's not very happy. She's forgot her makeup bag. I forgot <laughs> that. <laughs> no, it's not just that. It's got all my hairbrushes in. It's got my vape juice in. It's got my makeup in. It's got my. It's got. It's the my, my bag. Well, you need to be a bit more responsible, don't you? If I haven't got to sort you out, sort you your sorted, clothes out, hang on, sort your domestic. lunch out, sort, clean your shoes. I'll let her have a little say. You haven't sorted anything out for yes, me. I have. Nothing at all. Yes, I have. Happy so yeah, I've forgot my, my bag of life, which has got everything I need in it that I take all over the world. Where you have to go? We've had, had no makeup for a, a few days. Don't wear a lot anyway. There's a mask down there anyway. <laughs> You'll be having duct tape over your face in a minute. So we'll crack on, people, to our destination in Daventry. Happy bloody holidays. It's good to be back in the... I can just say, actually, we've been bloody so ill since we got back from France. He caught my cold, so he had the man flu, didn't he? Oh. I've tested every day, yeah. every other day. Well, for four or five days now. No Covid, just had a really bad cold. Caught, caught it off a little legs here. Told you to keep away from me, didn't I? Unbelievable. Well, crack on, people. Oh, it's just amazing to be back in the bus. Yeah, and we're having to use a big camera so we can't drive with it because he forgot the little furry mic. All right, enough said. We'll see you in a bit. Happy bloody It's just one of those days. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, we are here at Daventry yeah. on a... Rally. Yeah, what is it? Caravan and Camping Club Rally. They saw that yesterday, we told them. Well, a few minutes bloody ago. Bloody hell, it's going to be one of them days again, is it? We had a great night last night, didn't we? We did. Loads of snogs. No, we didn't. Must have been a good dream, then. Again. <laughs> yes, uh, base. Go on, sorry. I was just going to say it's absolutely beautiful here. So peaceful, stunning views. Yep. Which you're going to show them in a minute. It's oh, looking very pretty. You still got your cold? I have. Your off again, moaning, snivelling little bit. It's changing weather. One minute you're freezing. Today the sun's beautiful. Last night I couldn't get enough layers on. I was so cold. Yeah, so uh, I'll just spin the camera around the side so you can have a quick look. Yeah. You can't whack it, people. Mm. I'm just getting excited again. And we've got a, an update on, I don't know if you remember, but the Bailey Caravan that we vlogged about five months ago. Back in October, was it? Yeah. The problems they have had have been unbelievable. But we're with them today, so you're going to yeah. have a, a go and chat to them. I'll have a chat day. with them later, see what they've done and uh, see how they got on and see how they were treated yeah. by Bailey. Be interesting. It will. Excuse? Shut up, Robert. I've got a problem with the bus again as well. Oh, no, I know. I'll show you, actually. So, basically, that valve there, because they're electric, uh, won't close, so it's open all the time. So, you, you, you might just be able to pick it up. It's dripping water at the moment. So, I've had to bung it up and bang some uh, insulation tape around it. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, and yet another problem. Yet another journey back to, to Salop. Salop. Might as well get it done while it's under warranty, haven't we? Yeah. So basically, it's a farmer's field. I'd say that was a farmer's house. And then you've got all this ground. You can see the vans. Very, very quiet site. Very quiet. And we're part there. I'll just cook the old bird of breakfast again. And you've got a cracking view over there. And there's a bench there, so you can sit there and look at the amazing view and let time go by. Beautiful. Yeah, if you want a couple of days to chill out. I think we found another little gem here. Perfect. Hang, hang on, how much is it? Uh, oh, we're on a valley, so it's £10 a night. 
Mind you've got no electric, but you've got water and you've got an Elson point. That's all you need to be honest for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah and can I just say about this, uh, this van, the, five, five, uh, the 599, if anybody else has got one out there, has anybody put a tap on the outlet, you know, to save, because these electric things are crap, aren't they? Just wondered if it's been done, you know, if any, any of you have done it, because it'll make life so much easier. Happy with that, let me know people, please. Thank you. So, this is the Bailey, they had all the problems with, the Bailey Pegasus, beautiful van, which they absolutely love, twin wheeler. So let's have a look, see what he's got to say. Now don't get too comfortable, my little angel. It's very nice. Because you're not having a caravan. I know. You love caravans, don't you? Bloody son's got me here. Bounce enough your head. Unbelievable. Right, I'll introduce you to Brian. There he is, a giant of a man, so I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hi, right, boy. Tell us what's happened, man. Um, well, obviously, since last seeing you... October, last was it? October, yeah, last yeah, yeah. meet-up. We're still waiting for a repair on the roof strap. Yeah. Um, this is the Bailey Pegasus Bologna mm. Grande. Um, we had a leak across the roof strap and water was just going everywhere. Yeah. If you go onto our last vlog, you'll see the roof strap there. It was leaking and going into the cupboard, yeah? Yep, yeah, so that the... cupboard swelled up. Yeah, are you... they going to sort that out, are they? Yeah, yeah, the, the doors are actually swollen, but they've sort of dried out a little bit. Yeah. Um, but they're usable at the moment. Um, we're waiting on those because everything caravan wise is hard to get hold of. Um, and there's a waiting list, but the main issue was the leak. Um, yeah. We obviously left it in storage over Christmas. Um, lucky enough, there's a guy, um, Tom Katz, he rep done a temporary repair for us to give us a reassurance that it won't leak. Um, we could still use it, but we were just a little bit dubious and thought, well, I don't want to risk it. Oh. Um, but we finally um, spoke to Bailey. Um, there's a guy there, he pushed everything through. Um, he sent the parts over. Um, obviously from your vlog that probably helped because we got information to we're always to here to help boy we're no, always here to help much, yeah um obviously got a new mattress yep. so everything's sort of getting laid out back out how it used to be and yeah more so, home, more so home. how do you think you've been treated overall uh to begin with that's like we just kept push, get felt like pushing the shot pushing aside yeah. um but so we just kept persevering persevering um finally people listened um and then, so like I say, if we didn't have the temporary repair, then this would have been left at the dealers and said, yeah. you sort it out. Um, mm -hmm. But luckily enough, we had the temporary repair. Um, like I said, I kept threatening, on, well, not threatening, but kept emailing. Um, and saying, Look, you like, kept on them, yeah? Yeah, and yeah. you had to. Um, then the leak got fixed, but yeah. it could have been done quicker and a lot better. How long um, has it been in total since the day you discovered? Six, seven months. Yeah. That's pretty shocking, isn't it? Six it or seven is, months. It is, isn't it, to be honest? With a leak as well. Yeah. Because it ruined your Christmas plans, isn't it? Well, yeah, we're supposed to be up Scotland with you guys. Yeah. Um, obviously, that messed your plans up, because yeah. obviously we were having you on out and planned everything. Absolutely ruined our Christmas, didn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, it's getting there now, yeah? Getting yeah, sorted yeah, we're, now. We're slowly getting there back back to ship shape. Yeah, um, that's good. I must say, this is our second out on this year, um, after having the repair done. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to get it all back to normal, just enjoying my caravan life. Brilliant. Thanks for that then, boy. No, thank you. You want me little angel? Are you happy with that? I am. It's about time it was sorted. It really is. Right, and right next door, we have come across the meandering Manx new motorhome, which we're going to have a look at now. Can you get that off? <laughs> Susie, smart yourself up, young Phil. <laughs> and here's the beautiful couple, Anlin. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, Steve, the meandering Manx. Oh, you said it right this time. Yeah, well, it is, done, yeah. well done. How nice is this one? It's lovely. Love it. Love the layout. Susie, what's the best thing you like about this one? Uh, my Steve is not in it. <laughs> <laughs> you're so you're sounding more like her in every day. <laughs> you're watching too many vlogs of that. <laughs> I'm going to start in the cab. Don't go away. No. So, that's the front of it. Uh, Peugeot cab. And he's pinched my seat covers as well for some reason. He's got an overhead bed there. King size. King size? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four travel seats and a massive table. You've got your fridge, your cooker, and a kettle. Here's your microwave. 
Yeah, it seems spacious, doesn't it? Very spacious. Uh, big lockers. Nice shelf there as well. I like that. Got a skylight there. Uh, what else you got? Uh, where's my sticker? I ain't got any stickers up yet. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, yes. Beautiful though. And there is me. Happy holidays, people. Happy holidays. There's a bathroom. Uh, yeah, the bathroom is in here. Can I go in? Yeah. There you go. Man, that's that's a that's a big shower. That is. Yes, very nice. Is this just one thing missing? What's that? Where's Cherry? She's on the top bunk. I need to uh, inflate her. Don't talk about Cherry. She's a bit flat. <laughs> Susie, what do you love about your van? Tell me. Space. Steve. And light. Shower. Shower. Yeah, shower. we didn't have Because you didn't have a shower, did you, in the last one? <laughs> yeah, that must make a massive difference. It does, definitely, doesn't it? I wonder why you stunk a bit. I don't know. <laughs> it's just really nice it is seating area. Lovely here. seating area. U shaped, which turns into a bed, I presume. Yeah, just pulls out from bed underneath, bed, yeah. and then you just put them together, they drop down, that's it, bed done. Yeah. Uh, loads of cupboard space all the way around. Have you got drawers? There's a uh, cutlery, cutlery drawer. drawer. Massive window behind Susie there. Massive window behind Steve and my little fruit cake, my little pineapple, my little crab up. And a massive window there. And you've got your TV there. Can you see the TV? There you go. Yeah, it's a really nice van. Well done. Yes. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. You're looking really pretty today, Susie. Thank you. You like my jumper. Hey, hang on, where's that jumper you had on yesterday? It's dirty, it's yeah. in the wash. <laughs> you should still yes. wear it. Show me your badge. Meandering Manx. Check them out, people, on YouTube. They are pretty good. Well, Susie is, I don't know about Steve, he's a bit dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lot dodgy. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning. I've just bought the old bird of a McDonald's. Yes, he's bought me. We've come to another meet-up. What? We haven't. We have. We're on McDonald's car park. Well, yeah. And on the way, he's took, brought me to McDonald's. Yeah, we Actually, you drove here, but I paid. So you owe me a tenner. Makes a bloody change. Anyway, we've left the rally. The rally was all right. If you want to do absolutely nothing, a sit in the field. Yeah. So we've come to Hereford. Yes. And we're meeting up with... Uh... They're the YouTubers. Well, yeah. and But we've come up to see Amber and Pete as well. So we're going to meet up with them tonight. And yeah, we're going to see what it's all about, see if everybody's having fun. Lots of fun. Give us a kiss. Shut up, Robert. We'll crack on, people, and we'll show you, fellow YouTubers, if we can get them on the camera. If we can't, we'll just put us on. That sounds, <laughs> that, that sounds like a plan. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Hello, again. So we have arrived at Hereford, Hereford Boat Club. Rowing Club. Bloody hell, don't start already. It's not called Hereford Boat Club. Look, big sign over there, Hereford Rowing Club. It's a bloody boat in it. Goes on water, doesn't it? And you, you get in it. Oh, it's a boat. Shut you. So, uh, let's have a look round. Yeah. So you can see. It's not very warm. Dead up. I look very pretty, my little angel. I'm really not, though, am I? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so you have geeky Phil there. Hello. Walking off. Just took all our money off us. <laughs> and he's parked there. Now, to be honest, we haven't got a clue off it's these people. Are. I don't know. Hang on, I missed shit. There you go. <laughs> Tiptoes. I thought you were sitting down. Shut up, rubbish. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It says, Why sometimes I've believed as many six. Impossible things before breakfast. Alice in Wonderland. I just, oh, she just took the words right out of my mouth. And it must have been what you were <laughs> kissing me. Enough, enough. Copyright. Yeah, so that's that man there. We don't know who it is. Don't know who it is. You've got Brucey, Bouncy. Don't know who he is. We've got to start catching up on our YouTube, you know. We have. Oh, yeah, all right. And then you got the you got the lovely rolling rooks. You're the one that she go the boat. Charlie and Shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, from Dawson. Can I just put that? And they're all talking over the film. I didn't go to that. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, all right. Introduce yourselves. You did. Sharon, Adventures Under the Stars. 
There you go. You like it under the stars, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> She's smiling, Rob. <laughs> Let's get back to that van quick. <laughs> and you have the Rolling Ruxies van there, which they have had a sh crap load of trouble with. Which, uh, you know, freak over to their vlogs and you can see what's going on with that. But apparently, they've just voided the warranty, which is terrible news for them. But I'm sure they'll get it sorted. And Lynn has run off and found a cork. That's what we need. Oh, to stop the water problem? Yeah. yeah. You haven't talked about the water problem. I have. Have you? Yes. Well, that's what we need. Yes. Did you want that? And they've put this uh, awning up here just to give the kids like a bit of a play den. Actually, I don't. I think it's so they can get a bit of peace. And they're in here, and I'm just going to put the camera in and scare them to death. Paris. What are you doing? <laughs> you okay, kids? Yeah. Good. And there's the Rolling Radfords. New beast. Tagax or Contiki. Beautiful van. But he's had the same problem as me, hasn't he? He's he ripped has. the water pipe it. off. But there you go. Nothing that can't be sorted. Beautiful van there. Very nice van. And you have what's occurring. There, there. Who else we got? Wondering where he is. And there it is yourself, Mr. Radford. Mr. Radford. Good day. We were just saying you had problems with your, your water, you ripped your what's the name off? Yeah, absolutely. But we are working with Swift to try and get that rectified. So hopefully we're gonna have a solution before they go into production with us. Yeah. So fingers yeah. crossed, you know? There you go. Good check the number plate, dude. <laughs> That's good, that is, I like that. Absolutely. We're not gonna put graphics on this one. Actually it'll look better no, if it was Robin Lynn on there. Oh it really would. <laughs> That's Definitely. brilliant. Well people, we're back at the static. We are. It's horrible, isn't it, when the, the weekend comes to an end? But yeah. it does for all of us. Yeah. I don't think they see you. have to get a bit they, closer. No, yeah, they can. It's fine. Stop. <laughs> You're still not feeling very well, are you? No. Can't <sighs> kick the last of the coal. Just can't kick it. You kick me enough, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just want to say about the rallies... If you haven't done it, you need to. Yes. It's, uh... You know, if you like that kind of thing, that is. It's the cheapest way to see places. First one of the day. Yeah. Yeah, it is better paying, uh, I don't know. 30, 40 pound, which uh, I've heard now some of the caravan and camping sites charging, nearly up to 40 pound a night. Yeah. In our opinion, the, uh, the rallies, the atmosphere is better, everything's better. Yeah. That's, that's so, how we feel. So, so chilled out. I mean, obviously you haven't got the showers and uh, whatever. But you have on some of them, to be honest. I was honest. just going to say, yeah, because when we did Unity Farm last year on the rally, there was the, the shower blocks and everything was open. So, yeah. some have, some haven't. Because we're just trying to book one up now, aren't we? Just fell out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we just fill out my head? Yeah, so that's about it for this one. Uh, we are going to... Rec Will you bugger off, man? We are... Ne going to record another one in a minute, uh, which we'd like you to all watch. It's only going to be a short one, yes, because uh, we want to help s two of our friends out. But all will be explained in the next one. Yes, uh, and we just want to say a massive thank you for to Amber and Pete Amazing for their donation couple. to our charity. Yeah, they uh, they messaged us when we were. Why are you looking at me like that? When we were in Daventry on the rally and said, "I just wondered if you're coming to Hereford this weekend." Uh, we hadn't planned to, but then we thought, yeah, we'll do it. We'll go yeah. and meet them. And What a fantastic couple. We had a great night with them. But he did drink all my gin. He did, didn't he? He did bring you some, though. But I think he drank those as well. I think he drank a lot, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, got... thank you so much I think he's got a bit of a Pete. problem, Pete. I ain't going to say too much there because of his job. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, thanks for watching again, people. Thanks for all your support. If you come across our channel, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. What's the matter? Just letting you carry on. You look all like red and everything. I, I, I am. I'm a bit flushed. You're always flushed when you're by me, aren't you? I just never know what you're going to do next. That's probably why. Hey. See? Hey. It's the anticipation. <laughs> yeah, so have a fantastic week, people. I hope you've had a great bank holiday and we'll see you soon. So take care for... for Oh, bloody hell. Should we cut that? No. no. Carry on. 
So take care, fellow caravan as motor owners, tenters, drifters, subscribers, all new, so love you. We do. We'll see you on the next one, people. Thank you so much for watching. In a bit. Thank <laughs> you.